Lumen, Levels, a couple of products designed to help you reach your health goals, but in different ways. Let's break them down. Both Levels and Lumen are designed to give you the same core things, and that is a device that can tell you if the things you're working on, the wellness items you are practicing, are working for you or not. And before we jump into this, let me make one thing really clear. Sometimes when I do comparisons like this, I have a clear preference, but with this one, I do not. I think they are both fantastic, and the reason for that is if you go to Google and you type in weight loss, I absolutely hate that all the results are gimmicky, let you just think you can cheat your way to weight loss, things that probably are not healthy for you, pills, crazy diets, muscle stimulators. For most people, these are probably not the healthy or right way to go about losing weight or being healthier or reaching your wellness goals. And these products do that. Not only do they tell you what is and is not working for you so you can make better decisions, they do it in a healthy way. So I love what both these products offer and how they help you reach your goals in a healthy way. So I enjoy both of them, but they're different. And my goal is to help you decide if one of them is right for you. Normally, I don't talk about price in my videos because it can change at any minute and then my video is outdated, but I feel like it does play a role in this comparison, so I'm gonna cover it real quick. And as of this specific moment, Lumen is $269 for the year. This includes the device and then all their subscription services. Levels is $199 for their subscription service for the year, but then the devices, these things you apply right here, are $199 for two sensors, which means 28 days of coverage. So we'll talk a little bit more about that, but that is the price breakdown. And yes, I know these things are expensive, but they also teach you so much that you get to take away with yourself for the rest of your life and keep using so there is a value element to it there. And one last thing on price, both companies were awesome enough to provide my viewers discounts, so I'll throw it all in the description down below. And by the way, I have a dream, and that is to hit 100,000 subscribers so I can put a plaque on the wall that shows all the hard work on this channel has led to a huge milestone. So if you don't mind subscribing, I definitely appreciate it, and hopefully I can show you a few things along the way. When it comes to the app experience, it's actually very close between the two. They both have ways to get your data into the app and then review that data, but they don't stop there. They have a lot of things to help you learn. So you can learn meal ideas, you can do meal tracking, you can get eating out ideas. There are just a lot of different things that are built into these to go along with the data so you can learn, improve, and then see your data improve over time based on the changes you're making to your lifestyle. When it comes to levels, what I really enjoy is how they pair your meals and exercise to the data. With a high level of accuracy, you're able to see the impact of your decisions and understand if that worked or didn't and make adjustments based on that. With Lumen, I love their nutritional toolbar. Log your meals, get healthy meal ideas, healthy eating out ideas, a lot of great information to help you live healthier. So what I feel really separates these two options is the data. Now with Lumen, you breathe through it and it gives you a score of one through five. And you can do this as many times as you want throughout the day, which can really paint a great picture of what's going on. You know, when you wake up before a meal, after a meal, before you exercise, after, and so on. And you can use this to really understand how your decisions are impacting your body. But with those buckets of one, two, three, four, and five, those are really big buckets. And I just wish the scoring was a little bit more granular. So you had a better idea, a little bit more level of accuracy. So that is my one big complaint with Lumen. But with levels, I feel like this is where they excel because this thing is constantly measuring your blood glucose levels and it has it by the minute. So if you wanna know where you're at at any given moment, you can do a scan, but it's also gonna import all that data over. And when you look at it and you see you had a meal here, you exercise there, you're gonna be able to see exactly to the fine details exactly what happened, which makes it a lot easier to make better decisions going forward because you know if that did work or didn't. You're not guessing as much because those buckets aren't so huge. You have very specific data points to make it easier to know exactly what was going on. So yes, when it comes to the data, I prefer levels, but I'll also say it's the more expensive option. You might find yourself saying, do I really need that much? And like I already said, Lumen still paints a great picture. It pulls in a lot of great data points. So that may be more than enough. I still think both are great options, but if you really wanna understand what's going on with a lot of detail, I did find levels a little bit more beneficial. Now, when it comes to ease of use, they're actually both very easy to use, just in very different ways. With Lumen, you breathe through this thing, you have the app open, you tell what measurement you're doing, whether it's first when you wake up, after meal, and so on, and then you take your measurement by breathing through this, and you're done. The catch here is, you have to keep doing this. If you don't do this, you don't have the data points, so you have to remember to take measurements throughout the day, so you can paint that picture over a course of day, weeks, and months to keep learning and keep making better decisions. So, there's a little bit of work involved there, but it's not hard at all. 
With levels, it's a little different. You don't really have to do anything. You have to install this and it stays there for 14 days, but then you just have to remember to scan it. It only holds up to eight hours of data. So if you go farther than that, you're gonna start losing data and you don't want that at all because you want that chart to show the entire day. So you probably have to do at least four scans a day to make sure you're not missing data, but you can scan it as often as you want. So you just have to remember to do that. So a little work on both sides, but again, very easy on both sides. Something else that's really important is how accurate these devices are. And I thought the accuracy on both was really good. Now I will say with Lumen, it feels like there's a little bit of a chance for the results to be skewed. And what I mean by that is this is user initiated. You do this. So if you change what you do between like measurements, it might skew the results. So let's say one, you were sitting in nice and calm and the other, you'd been a little active walking around. That might change the results just a little bit. Maybe one time after a meal, you waited five minutes, next time you waited 20 minutes. Could that change the results? I personally don't know but I feel like it could just change the results a little bit where it's not as accurate as you want it to be so I think on your end you want to try to be consistent so the measurements are the same you're getting good results but overall it did seem to be pretty accurate based on what I was doing and what I expected but with levels you have a sensor under your skin that's measuring exactly what your levels are at at minute by minute throughout the day and it did seem to be very very accurate so yes I preferred levels for the accuracy but again they both did a very good job so which one do I recommend well, as I keep saying, they're both great products. So I think there are situations where either could be the right option. This kind of depends on how you want to use it. Now, obviously cost is going to play a role here. And with Lumen, it's a less expensive option and you get a whole year of learning opportunities that you could use for the rest of your life. So that is very beneficial and not to be overlooked. Another reason I could see people being gravitated towards Lumen is if you want control. You know you have different events throughout the day and you want to know what's happening. You want to be able to grab that Lumen, do your measurement and know where you're at. You're going to be able to do that as much as you want and then keep painting that picture so you're going to get that understanding of what's going on based on what you want to see so that is nice and i will say based on my lumen videos and looking over the comments people seem to be very happy with the results they're getting the usage of the tool the app experience so it's been overall very positive but I will say I very much like levels. I feel like there's a different level of data here. It's more of a, you're a data nerd person. You really wanna look through those graphs, understand exactly what's going on. But another thing I'll say real quick, and this is a personal belief, but the reason I think a lot of people struggle with overall wellness, weight loss, and things like that is overall carb intake. We tend to spike our sugar too much. We tend to keep our sugar elevated too much. This leads to insulin resistance and other downstream negative things and diseases and things like that. And getting a grasp on that, learning not to spike your glucose levels, learning to stabilize your sugar, making yourself more insulin sensitive over insulin resistance can have so many health benefits and levels really helps you understand that, make better decisions and see that the things you're doing are actually having a result and your body is adapting to that new healthier state and learning how to handle carbohydrates better. So if that might be you or you think you might be able to benefit from that or that just leans more to where you're at, I think you might really enjoy levels. If you enjoyed this, check out my video on Kachava, a super healthy, easy drink that you can have whenever you want that does not spike your blood glucose. I know because levels told me. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to stay on top of all the great wellness products coming out. And until next time, here's to a healthier you and have a good one.